former coach Tony Robichaux, and he's done an excellent job. They were in a regional a year ago and quite gotten to the bag. And White follows with a sharp line drive the other way. Ronnie, for such a big guy, a guy who takes. And still, when you try to go in on him, he can fight it off the other way. Cade Beloso hits one high. He hits it deep. This one is going, going, going. And it appeared to be off the wall. It rolls back into center field. Beloso is chugging his way to third. He's there that? with a stand-up triple. His first three-bagger of the season. Beloso flirting with a home run. Blasts one deep off the right center field wall, and Tommy White scores. Well, if you had the over-under of a, it was a half in Vegas on whether Kate Beloso would get one triple this year. Well, there it was. It uh, So you can cash your winning ticket. That ball just under the gold line in right center. Didn't make it out of the ballpark, but it kicked so hard off the wall, it, it, it allowed Kate Beloso. He's batting in the cleanup position for the second time this year. And a liner to left is sinking, and it's caught for the third out. Cajuns hit their way on. A liner to left is down for a base hit just over the leaping Jordan Thompson. The UL shortstop looks at the 3-2 pitch. And it's downstairs and two base runners aboard. Oh, oh my. Hurt oh, turns wow. and throws that one into center field. This bunt will bring in the run. Jared Jones makes the play on the base runner, three unassisted. Lost a little bit behind Hood and Brock, but what a great year he's had, and that's a heck of an at-bat, took a close one. Runner on first is moving, and a liner into left field, a base hit. The Raging Cajuns take the lead, the throw to third is not in time, and Bayon moves up on the play at third base. Willis is around to bunt. The runner was coming from third, and Malazzo tags him out. Willis was unable to put the ball in play. That's nubbed toward White. Tommy picks it up, fires it over to Jared Jones. Here's Braden Jobert. And he rips it into right center field. Let's see if that ball gets down. It will. It bounces high off the wall on the first bounce. The right fielder slips, but gets it back to the infield. And Jobert. Brett would be proud of that. He would. That, that Thompson's using. Oh, what a play. Second baseman was right in the proper spot. Amazing, behind the bag. Bulls getting together. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That'll get the run in. Merrifield does his job whose uncle Steve is an assistant men's basketball coach at Texas A&M. No chance for a play from Merrifield as Rockefort is able to drop one into shallow center field for a base hit. His lead is not much, and he's not going. This ball is hit very high and very deep. It leaves the yard, and it is a home run over the grandstand on the left side. Heath Hood smashes one out of sight, his fourth home run of the year. And just like that, the Cajuns, with a two-run rally, with two outs, regain the lead. It's 4-2. to two. The Ragin' Cajuns on top. Now, that's the value of Rockefort reaching base with that little flare to center, is that first base is now occupied. F6. White again goes the other way. His second base hit. Cruz puts on the brakes at third. That swing is sweeter than a purple popsicle. <laughs> He's got 11 on the year. And this one might get the job done. We'll see. Cruz is tagging. And now coming to the plate. The throw is well offline. And so the sacrifice fly by Jones pulls Ellis Shooter within a run. And oh, by the way, that was a four run swing as well. This is lifted into the air on the left side. Plenty of time for Higgs to get under it, and he makes the catch. But the Tigers pick up a run on a sacrifice fly by Jared Jones. Abe Lincoln, Wrestling Hall of Fame. Let's see if Morgan can catch this. He's backing up. It looks like he he's under it. it. He lost it. And now it. he can't find it. Morgan was backing up near the warning track, and all of a sudden, 
It just didn't happen. He couldn't find it. Of the Cajuns who lead it four to three. Cruz. He lost it. He's Cruz trying lost to find it. this ball. He doesn't know where it is. Wow. Morgan finally moved to his left and picked it oh, up. Cow. Back to back. Lost in the sunset fly ball. I've never seen this. I have never in, seen that happen consecutively. However many thousands of baseball games that I've watched in my life. Back to back plays. <laughs> Willis draws a base on balls. Oh, that I want to ask. <laughs> Joe Bear coming hard, coming hard, can't get it. It drops in front of him. Here's the throw to the plate. It's up the third base line. And the tag is not able to be applied. Joe Bear did all he could to get it in the air. It dropped in front of him legitimately. A good throw toward the plate might have had the runner. Crash into the wall and made a heck of a grab. Joe Bear running. Joe Bear gets there. That one sinking in right center field. But Joe Bear able to take the hit away to prevent additional damage. Must be good luck pants. Uh, he was arguably the best reliever for the Tigers. This ball is headed deep to right field, and it is in the bleachers. The Ragin' Cajuns add to their lead. Connor Higgs is having a heck of a night. Connor Higgs has had a heck of a season. The sophomore came in batting 343, just ran into his fourth homer of the year and only his seventh start of the season. Got a breaking ball down and in, kind of thigh high, opened up that front side and Ran it out of the ballpark about 20 feet over that wall. Travinsky earns a walk. Who is one for four. Make it two for five. This ball is high. This ball is deep. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Trey Morgan rips it into the bleachers for the third time this year. And just like that, LSU has two back. Trey Morgan does not pull a lot of balls with that authority, but he smacked that one between the stitches. Now he got a two ball, one strike, fastball. And just turned on this puppy. I mean, that ball is a, a moon shot about to the second row, second or third row in the back of the bleachers. Watch, you look up, it hits about three rows from the top. A full count and the pitch. Cold third strike, and I think Cruz knew it. Now well, it was That's a rare. That is rare. Marshak picks it up. He has no play. White collects his fourth base hit of the game. Well, the home plate umpire said Beloso went around. Alex Ziegler didn't ask for help. He called it. You can count on a breaking pitch here, I believe. There it is, and the result is the same. That ball started in the strike zone and then dipped below the knees. Jones couldn't find it. Three strikeouts in the inning for Cooper Rawls, and the Ragin' Cajuns have a big non-conference win.